<clears throat> oh, you've already seen that one. Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave and I've got my proton pack here and I'm showing you actually the back side, back to front, where's on the back? So is the front the back? The part that, this is the proton, <laughs> this is the proton pack that I made in conjunction with Ghostbusters Afterlife. This is my interpretation of one of the possibilities of Phoebe's pack. And I built a cyclotron down here. Here's some B-roll from the build that we, when we actually did it. It was a really, really fun build. And one of the one issues that I have had with uh, the proton packs is that I want lights on the front. I want lights on the front. So I made this device here along with Ben Eady, who worked in the prop and set department for Afterlife. I think mostly props. Um, ben came here and he and I built this attenuator. Um, you know, it's a perfectly meaningless word. It's exactly, come on, don't you fall over. Good job. Uh, I have to do some fixing up of my proton pack. Anyway, we built this attenuator. And I love this piece. I'm really, really happy with it. It's got some, it's got some great, it's got a great look to it. I love particularly this weird pilot's uh, dashboard light that looks like a radioactive symbol. Like one of my, one of my great scores on eBay is buying 10 of those. Uh, the antique wire here, everything around this. Just, I'm really, really pleased. And recently, uh, I was looking on Etsy, like one does, and I, whenever I've finished a prop, I'm, I'm never quite totally finished. So even after I've assembled a costume, I will go back and search the original costume search terms just to see if anyone's making stuff that I didn't know about. And I'm looking through Etsy, and this listing comes up, Ghostbusters Attenuator, and I'm like, that sounds familiar. <laughs> um, and... This is, uh, I'll, I will include a link to the Etsy seller in the, in the description. Um, but I bought an attenuator from a Ghostbusters fan. Here is the, uh, dude, this is really cool. Um, it ha here's the instructions on power and all of that. Uh, but I specifically have not opened it so that you can see it. Actually, let's do this as B-roll. I'll do this as a close-up and I'll talk about it. All right, here we go. We're going to open this up. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow, that is great looking. Dude. Oh, with like a magnet. Oh, that's really clever. Okay, so it takes a nine volt in there. Did you guys? Wow, this dude literally 3D printed a battery door functionality. That in and of itself actually deserves a, um, a Nobel Peace Prize. Um, oh, wow, you made the switch actually do stuff. Uh, it looks like we've got a segmented display, two switches. All right, let's go, let's go get a battery in this. Oh my gosh, this looks great. Um, it really does. It's, it feels like a mix of 3D printing and styrene construction. Um, with the emphasis on 3D printing, but really subtle work. This is... Quite lovely. I'm not even positive it's 3D printed. It's actually quite kind of hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. I can see it on the inside. Um, wow, it's a lovely looking piece. Let's get this. Let's get this powered up. Battery door. Battery door. That. Just makes me so happy. Oh, right, I see what you've done. You've actually made a plan so that this lives in here. What? Thus, you always have access to the battery. Okay. 
Sorry, it's hard to do this while also looking at your hands on camera. Suddenly I have all this respect for the YouTubers who do that. Okay, so let's see. The left toggle switch turns the main. Oh, yeah, okay. Nice, nice segment display. That looks good. Uh, the right toggle turns the flicky, flickering LEDs on the lenses. Hang on. The rotary knob turns clockwise through six different animations on the bar graph. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the other end of the dummy cable is a magnet, so it sticks to anything you want. Um, this is gorgeous. This is a lovely, lovely piece. That is delightful. Okay, so the, um, of course, of course the thing is, Hold it up. Uh, look, I'm going to uh, I'm going to post some pictures of this with a with a ruler next to it. So if you want to replicate yours, you can get the actual dimensions of mine. Um, but uh, let's hold this one up here. And dude, got it so freaking close. I mean, there are differences. Everything is a little bit different, but. Honestly, I think his looks even a little better than mine. My bar graph isn't that great. Um, it is if it is about a quarter inch wider than the original, but everything else is really, really spot on. Uh, this this kind of thing this kind of thing makes me so freaking happy. Let's get these bolts in there. This this kind of thing makes me so so happy. Um, this is, this is fandom to me. That's my fandom. This is a fan, that's my fandom responding to the franchise to, you know, such a great movie, such a great concept, such a great set of movies. Um, and this is fandom responding to my fandom. This is like, what could be better? What could be more? It's like a big hug around the world. Um, what a lovely thing. That is just a quick and dirty show and tell. That's it. I just wanted to show you a, a, a I bought this based on a piece I built and designed. Like, that is really, really cool. I'm beaming. I've been aching to own, <laughs> to open this. I, uh, I got it about three days ago and then we've had a lot of shooting going on. So it's taken me a while to get to this. But dude, it looks great. Really nice work, everybody. And it's got this clip. I'll clip right there into the pad. That's fantastic. That is a nice solution. A little 3D printed capper cap on there. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining me for this show and tell. I'm going to make another proton pack just for this other attenuator. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.